All right, guys, Frenchy again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Rams. Um, if you just uh, purchased some new Rams, all right. Uh, once installed, your BIOS will uh, run them by default at 33.33. So um, let's say you bought a higher speed RAM like 1600 or uh, 1866 or. 2133 or 24 um, they're not gonna <clears throat> run that speed off the bat so what you want to do is uh, change the setting in the bias and then once you do that I uh, highly recommend testing your RAM and a really great uh, program to test your RAM is uh, memtest memtest 86 it's free and what you do is you download it and uh, you uh, burn it um, on ISO on a CD and then uh, you just um, select boot drive uh, for your uh, boot order and then it'll load from the CD and this will uh, load uh, automatically and then it's pretty simple it's gonna test all your RAM and it's gonna tell you uh, if uh, anything is uh, defective or if it's not uh, stable or whatnot so it's gonna do pass uh, up here there's your percent percentage and then here this is what the test is running right now and then see I've done four passed and it took uh, 13 hours uh, I've had it running overnight so it's not a not a problem but I got 16 gigs so um, if you only got 8 gig it's not gonna take uh, 13 hours so uh, once you're done all you gotta do um, is press escape it's gonna restart the computer and I'll go in and bias and I'll change my boot order there you go so as you can see my uh, my RAM is running at 181866 uh, so I press F10 then I'll save the, the changes alright now I reboot it. Now it's gonna reboot from my SSD instead of the the CD. All right, guys. So now that you've rebooted your computer and that your uh, mem test passed with no uh, <clears throat> no errors or whatnot, you just wanna go ahead and make sure you're running at the, the proper speed. And uh, there's a great little software that can uh, tell you just that. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, if you don't have it, I highly recommend uh, downloading a CPUZ. All right, it's a great little software. It tells you a lot about your hardwares. I'm not gonna do uh, the update at this time because I'm making another video. And uh, you're gonna go right ahead uh, in your memory, guys. And uh, what you wanna be looking for is for the DRAM frequency. The way it works is you take this number and you um, uh, do times two. So for me, it's 933.3, and if I go times two, it's gonna give me my speed of my RAM, which is 1866. <coughs> so you do that for uh, whatever speed RAM you got. Um, the, the number you don't want to see here would be a 606. Point I don't know what point, but if you go times two, it tells you your uh, RAM is running at default speed so if you uh, spend the extra money for higher uh, RAM uh, you wanna make sure they run at the proper speed alright so uh, I will uh, put the links below for uh, the free software CPUZ and memtest and um, for memtest I really uh, highly recommend let it run overnight because sometimes uh, if you only do one pass it's not gonna catch some errors so 
more than one pass guys and if it ever catches an error it's gonna show in red at the bottom so yeah it's really hard to miss so there you have it guys just a quick video uh, on how to check your uh, make sure your, your RAM is running at the proper speed alright so it was Frenchy uh, I'll catch you guys next time stay sexy goodbye